welcome to our van plan. Today we are starting one of the most daunting parts of the build and that's installing our water system. So we've got underslung water tanks which we then need to feed through into the van before connecting everything together to our kitchen tap and also to our Truma boiler to provide hot water. So we'll take you through how we're going to do that, what we use, some of the um, issues we came up against um, and hopefully show you the finished system in action by the end of this video, fingers crossed. We decided to go for these CAC tanks. Um, there's a 66 litre freshwater tank and a 50 litre wastewater tank. And the freshwater tank goes on the passenger side and the um, wastewater tank goes on the driver's side. Then in addition, in the box, you get these brackets. So these are for supporting the tanks underneath the van and for mounting them up to the chassis and that is done by using these hooks. So the hooks hang from a point in the chassis, um, the brackets slide up over them and you get a nut or a bolt, um, a nut, sorry, that then tightens up over them and holds it all in place. Now these are supposed to use existing points, um, mounting points or holes in the chassis, but from what I've seen, there aren't any, so we're gonna have to drill some, I think. Um, also, these are not the best, I don't know if you can see that. Not the best quality metal I've ever seen. So I'm going to do some preparation work on these to make them a little bit more rust proof and a little bit more resilient for being underneath the van. So on first inspection under the van, we've come across our problem. Now we have this LPG gas tank installed um, and the regulator is up here on this chassis beam or whatever you want to call it, strut thing, um, which means that the tank that's supposed to be on this side which is the 66 litre bigger freshwater tank um, doesn't actually fit because it should overlap the strut that runs across here um, and it obviously can't because the regulator's there so that kind of limits our options I looked at swapping them around so the freshwater tank went over that side and the wastewater smaller one went this side but again that overlaps as well so right now unless we look at moving this regulator which I'm not sure we really want to do um, we probably can't actually have a tank this side after all. Um, so I need to have a think about that. But I think what we might look at doing is moving the 66 litre bigger one over this side, um, which will be below our kitchen, so that'll be convenient anyway. And then we might just have to have a waste in a cupboard below the sink. But uh, we'll have a think about what the best plan is to do. So I'm just trying to work out where to hang the hooks that will support the tank. There are definitely no pre-existing holes that I can use, which is a bit disappointing. So um, the options are to drill a hole here and the other side and have the hook coming down here and the brace running across at this point. Um, there's, we could also do the same here and have the brace running through at this point or here, oops, up here and have the brace running through at this point. And that's our three options really, because behind here there's some cables up there, so we can't do it there. This one we can go either side of, um, and this one here, it's okay this side, but on the other side there's the handbrake mechanism. Now I think it will just miss it, but I'm not sure. So if that's a problem, then our only two fixing points are here, running across here and here, which are really close together, and I don't think that's gonna support the tank very well so first choice will be at the front and then at the very or as far back as we can get it which is here um, but it's really all about this handbrake mechanism which I will see if, I'll go around the other side and see if I can show you now so yeah the issue this side is this handbrake mechanism here now I obviously don't want to interfere with that however I have marked if you can see with the X there where I think I could drill um, just swapping hands here bear with <laughs> And this will hang, be able to hang at an angle, so it will hook through into there and kind of hang at an angle, missing the handbrake mechanism. Um, so I might try it. If it looks a bit dodgy, then I can try a different approach, but hopefully that will be just about okay. Back under the van with the iPhone. So I've dry fitted the tank now. Um, I drilled holes here for the hook to fit into, um, and then the other side with the um, handbrake was actually okay. I'll see if I can show you from this side. It's not ideal, but it, um, 
does avoid the mechanism okay and it does hold the tank nicely at the front so we've got a brace at the very front there and then the second brace is here again drilled more holes this point to hook into um, and that's holding that up quite nicely um, these holes you need to be careful about how low they come so they need to be quite low so the hook will hook in without having making too big a hole but high enough that you don't run out of thread as you're tightening up here so um, just be careful of that but it seems to be okay and again I haven't really fully um, tightened those but it's not moving anywhere at the moment so yeah I'm actually pleased with that and this is one of the jobs I wasn't looking forward to but the tank is now at least in place where it's gonna end up. Um, so I can double check where all the attachments and the pipes are gonna go. I'm just trying to work out the logistics for all the pipe work to the fresh water tank underneath the van. Um, this is where the tank's gonna sit. And you can probably just see about here is the fresh water inlet. It's right at the top of the tank and it's right up in that corner. There you've got a cross member here and at the back there. Now ideally you want it to be gravity fed so you don't want to um, be travelling uphill at all but there's no way that we can um, do that here because that requires coming down in this gap here which just isn't going to happen because inside the man that's where the trim is going to be and some of the seat base is going to be so we need to come through this side of the strut, loop it round and then in so there will be a little u-bend but I'm hoping that will be okay. If we come into the van here so yeah the ideal bit we want to come in is is much more over here somewhere so that's just not going to work um, I think one option is at this point here but again we want to keep this bit nice and clear so the realistic option is for the fresh water inlet to come through around about here um, and we'll box in around the wheel arch and then we'll have the uh, inlet um, connection here uh, thing here in the boxing in so we'll have a nice run of the blue cable all the way down through the hole you'll do a little u-bend and into the tank which I'm hoping will work there's not a lot of other options so we're going to give that a go and see how we get on so before fitting the tank I need to then drill through the floor for the uh, filler hose to go down in towards the tank and then the cold water feed to come back up so I think the filler hose is going to go somewhere around here um, but there's a cross member running along widthways at this point so I obviously don't want to drill through that so what I'm going to do is go under the van work out how far basically drill a small pilot hole as close as I can get to that chassis member without touching it and then I know that that's the furthest forward I can go from the back of the van to drill the hole so we'll do that now That was a little bit more difficult than I thought because the uh, handbrake cable was kind of in the way underneath but this is the point that comes through over here so I now know that that is the the back or the furthest back we can have the bigger hole for the uh, water filler so I can line up the hole saw now where the, uh, the far edge of it is basically at that point so the hole will kind of sit forward from there um, and I know that will be then fine below. So I bought some of this 50mm um, plastic rigid piping and the idea being that that goes down through the hole and just allowing me to kind of seal it up better so, that, so it can protrude from underneath and I can seal around there and the same on the top um, and then this is the filler hose that will go down through the hole which then goes nicely through that. So I just need to rust treat all of this and then I can um, seal this in place ready to fill the uh, put the filler hose in as 
as I said, the quality of these brackets isn't that great. Um, they're already looking a bit rubbish, to be honest. Um, so as these are going underneath the van, I want to do some um, extra prep on them. So I've bought this um, red oxide metal primer, which I'll paint on, and then followed by this no-nonsense matte black spray paint again with some um, anti-rusting properties to it, apparently. So that should then just give this a nice, um, proper, decent, robust finish for going under the van. So I bought one of these CBE gauges for the water tanks. It's got um, two in one, so you press the button and then it shows whether the waste is full or how full the fresh tank is. Um, obviously we're not looking like we're gonna be using the waste one at the moment, so we're just gonna fit the fresh one to the fresh tank here. Um, the fresh one looks like this. It's basically just prongs that go into the top of the tank. Um, and then when, as the water, depending on what height the water is, it um, obviously, causes a current to uh, conduct across um, and then depending on the number of these prongs that are part of that so if it's full or full will detect um, it will show you on this chart here now um, the you need to basically cut a hole in the top here in order to put that in um, and you can fit it two ways one by having this um, nut which comes in and screws from underneath but I don't have access to inside the tank so the other thing you can do is use the screw holes around the top here with this um, gasket so that will kind of sit about there that will go through and then it will screw into the tank which should hold it um, fi uh, firm enough um, so then obviously you can see here that the prongs are way too long I don't know if you can see that um, so they need to be cut down a bit so basically this smaller one stays where it is we'll cut the two longer ones to the right depth and then we'll cut this one to exactly halfway between the length of these ones and this one so we can get that nice even measurement um, on there as the water rises up through the tank. Um, for the hole I've got a 57mm hole saw, um, I couldn't get, I think it needs 59 but um, we'll see how tight the fit is um, so we'll give this a go and then um, yeah go from there. Okay, so now we've cut the hole in the tank, we can measure how deep that is from the top of the tank. It's just over, but let's just call it 20 centimetres. Um, and then the way this gauge works, as I say, you divide the tank depth into four. The uh, longest prongs come at, at uh, a quarter of the way up from the bottom. The third one comes halfway, and then the little one is three quarters of the way from the bottom. So if this is 20 centimetres, each one of those is five. So the double prongs uh, need to be from the top, 15 centimetres. This one needs to be 10 centimetres, and the little one needs to be five centimetres. So looking at this, again, we're measuring from this point because that's where the top of the tank will be, not from the bottom of the uh, here. So starting at that point, that's already five centimetres, so that's okay. This one we can cut back to 10 centimetres, and then these two will cut back to 15 centimetres from the top there to the bottom and that'll give us our even distribution as the tank fills up. So here we are, um, bent a little bit when I was cutting them but it should be okay. So 15 centimetres, 5 centimetres, uh, 15 centimetres, 10 centimetres and 5 centimetres um, and then that obviously, put that on there. That sits in the tank like that. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna screw those into here to hold it down. Um, and then we can put the, the wiring loom through and fix that properly. It's got a bit dubious connections really for something that's underneath the van. So we'll just work out the best way of doing that um, to weatherproof it a bit more. Um, so yeah, all good. So I'm gonna use these uh, stainless steel screws to fix this. So the final thing before fitting is to put a bit of um, insulation around this. Now, technically, scientifically, I don't know if it's actually gonna make a 
bit, um, a blind bit of difference, but I want to try and make it as um, you know usable all year round as possible. So I've got some dodo mat um, left over, which I'm going to use probably on the underneath and up the sides. Um, I don't want to add too much width to it. And then I've got some also left over aluminium foil bubble wrap um, to kind of cover the whole thing. So I think that'll help. And then for the attachments here, I've got some foam pipe insulation as well, just to give it that little bit of extra, even if it takes a degree or two off, um, it's gonna help, right? So you're gonna do that next. Um, and then we're in a position to fit them in place. <laughs> like a Christmas present <laughs> um, probably a bit overkill maybe I don't know but um, it feels good it feels um, nicely insulated I've used some um, this duct tape stuff just over the top of the some of the metal tape at the ends which is going to take the brunt of the water flung up from underneath the van so just to give that a little bit of extra protection we'll see how it goes after keep an eye on it but um, overall really good and then yeah the sensor just comes out here um, so I need to just build in a bit of a build the connection in and make sure that's connected and nice and um, waterproof as well. So yeah, all pleased, all ready to go underneath the van. there with our nicely painted brackets pleased with that so just need to finish the holes at the back now and then we can connect it up so the final part underneath the van is to fit three hoses to the water tank the first one is this one which is the water tank drain um, which will just be short with this little drain um, fitment in the end um, so that's allowing us to completely drain the fresh water tank if we want to the second one is this one here which is our fresh water feed into the van um, it's already through poking out down below and then the final one is the bigger fill pipe which is going to come through here like so um, underneath the van before we pull this one through though we need to bring up the sender wires or the wires for the um the gauge um because that will come up through here along with this so we'll poke those up first and then bring it through carefully Thank you. 
So the last connection is the cool water feed here. Um, I've got some boiling water because I need to just warm up the end of that to expand over the uh, pipe. I'll try and show you what I've done here. So we've got the uh, drain um, pipe just coming here. Um, and I've actually just, at the moment anyway, attached it to, cable tied it along here, and then the tap, you can just see is there. So I can reach under and empty the tank if I need to, but I don't ex intend to or expect to do that that often. Um, and then we've got the cold fill into the van here, um, which is, better view that side, it comes in at this point. Just heated that up with some um, boiling water just to make the plastic a little bit more flexible to get over that. That was all good. Um, I fixed that in place. And then the fill is up here. Now, obviously, it does loop around underneath this chassis member here before going back up. Again, sorry, not sure you can see that, but back up into the van. So I'm kind of hoping that it's not too much of a problem and that the kind of power of the water coming down in from the van will swing it straight through up and into the tank so we need to do a bit of a test of that and keep everything crossed but, but overall yeah I'm pretty pleased with that the tank is also um, now fully tightened and up in place so I think we're kind of done on the water now into the van so we're going to finish this first part of our water system installation video here. Uh, we've got the tank installed under the van. We fitted the fresh water filler pipe, which is ultimately going to end up about here, um, through the van floor into the tank below, and then the cold feed coming up from the tank below into the van here, ready to, for connection onwards into our water system. So I've already bought the bits and pieces for that, including our pump and accumulator. These will install somewhere around here. So the cold feed will go straight into the bottom of um, this point and then on into the system in the van. So uh, that will be a whole other video because I need to work out how I'm going to um, build the structure around here, boxing in and so on and so forth. Also um, need to integrate that with the kitchen build and so on. So that will be in a second video. Um, the cat tanks are pretty good in terms of how they fit underneath the van, nice um, and tucked up out the way, but they are much more difficult to install than you first think when you look at them. However, it's definitely possible as you've seen, hopefully, with a bit of um, thinking and planning. Um, disappointed we couldn't get the wastewater in because it would have been nice to have that also under the van but actually I think we'll be okay with the um, with the tank under the kitchen sink because we re really we've only got the kitchen sink in the van that we need to drain from we don't have a shower or anything so I think that will be manageable and not a problem for us but we'll, we'll see how we go um, hope you found it video uh, this video useful and uh, helpful if you're thinking about doing the same um, if you do consider subscribing to our channel and giving the thumbs up uh, and let us know in the comments below what you think um, and also check out us all uh, over on Instagram at our van plan for all the latest on the build and what we're up to and where we're going. And we'll see you in the next video.